In this video, I'm going to solve the quadratic equation by factoring. And the specific type of method I'm going to use is the box method. So I start off by creating this box right here. And the term that I plug into the top left hand corner every time is going to be the AX squared term. Now that AX squared term comes from the standard form of a quadratic equation, which is referring to this equation right here. So I'm gonna plug in my 2x squared in the top left hand corner here. And then my constant, which is negative 12 here, goes in the bottom right hand corner. And this happens every time with this method. My next step is to take the ax squared term right here and multiply it by my constant term right here. I'm gonna put that down here. This is gonna be a negative 24x squared. Now I have to come up with two terms that multiply together to get this term, but then also add together to get my bx term. And to do that, I wanna set up a little factoring table over here where it helps me organize all my factors of negative 24x squared, and I could figure out which two of those add up to be my 5x. Now I'm gonna list all my factors of 24 over here, uh, and that's gonna start off with a 1x, times 24x, that would be 2x times 12x, and then I need 3x times 8x, and then 4x times 6x. Now, because these two uh, numbers here have to, or terms here have to multiply together to get a negative 24x squared, one of them has to be negative. And then I'm gonna pick the number that is smaller to be the negative, so I make all these negatives, because when I add these two terms together, they have to equal a positive number. So if I made my bigger number negative, that would have made a negative number, which wouldn't work out over here. So now let's add these terms together. So uh, negative one x plus 24 x is gonna be 23 x. Uh, negative 2x plus 12x is going to give me 10x, and that's not 5x either. Um, negative 3x plus 8x is going to be 5x. And those are going to be the pair of terms that we need. So I'm going to plug that into this square over here, negative 3x, and then a positive 8x. And it doesn't matter which one we plug them into. This could have been negative 3x and this could have been 8x as well, and that would work. Now I'm gonna find the greatest common factor between these two terms in the row. So the, the GCF between these two terms is gonna be just an x. The GCF between these two terms, um, 8x and negative 12 is going to be four. The GCF between these two terms here is gonna be a 2x. And then the GCF between these two terms here is going to be a negative 3. And it's negative because you always take the sign of the square that is closest to these numbers right here. So this was a positive, so you keep a positive here. This is positive, this is positive, this is positive, so then it's going to be positive as well. So now you have your two factors. x and 4 will be the x plus 4. And then 2x minus 3, you could put right here, 2x minus 3. And then remember, this is all equal to 0. To find your x values that make this true, you could set both binomials equal to 0. Now I'm going to solve for x, so I want to take away 4 from both sides. I'm left with x equals negative 4 here. For this one, I want to add 3 to both sides that goes away. I'm left with 2x equals 3. Now I'm going to divide out the 2 from both sides. So 2 over 2 goes away and I'm left with x equals 3 over 2. So x will be equal to negative 4 and x will be equal to 3 over 2. 